Zen 5 is getting patched to be even faster. Doom can run with no game engine now, and Intel is getting a Halo integrated graphics just like AMD. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Thursday, August 29th, 2024. We're gonna start off today talking about a few patches that are additionally coming out for the Ryzen 9000 CPUs. First up is something that was reported earlier that we would be getting a higher TDP version for the Ryzen 9000 chips, and now it is officially coming out to MSI, a 105 watt BIOS update that will allow you to at least get a little bit better performance out of the Ryzen 9000 chips. Zen 5 CPUs, the 9700X and 9600X are scoring about 13% faster in Cinebench R23. Is this something that was possible without? Yes, you could just tune it and overclock it and use PBO, but now it's going to be able to be set in the BIOS. But also another thing that appears to be getting fixed on the Zen 5 CPUs is the intercore and chiplet latency. This is something that was pointed out in the Anontech review that the core to core communication on things like the 9950X was way worse than it was on the 7950X. Averaging 180 nanoseconds on the Ryzen 9000 chip versus 76 nanoseconds on the 7950X. And it appears that AMD is planning on patching this out in a BIOS update soon as well, making sure that those numbers go down and that the performance of these CPUs is a bit more in line with what AMD promised when they showed them off a few months ago. And obviously everybody right now is talking about that Windows patch that is allowing you to get better performance to the tune of 10% on average, up to 30% in some instances. Now it's being announced that you don't have to wait for the 24H2 update. You don't have to be part of an insider's program or try to get your hands on it. You can now get your hands on it if you're part of the 23H2 update, which came out last year. You now just have to enable an optional update to get the KB5041587 update, and then you can have that downloaded extra performance for your Ryzen 9000 CPU to make it a little bit faster. It's good to see that AMD is making so many changes in order to bring the Ryzen 9000 CPUs up to a higher standard. This is something that a lot of people talk about. You don't necessarily want to be a beta tester for this, but it's nice to see that there's been a lot of work being done by Team Red to make sure that these CPUs are more efficacious than they were at launch. And it's a nice little update. Thank you, AMD, for making that happen. And thank you, Reese, for giving us the deals. Yo, welcome back to Yifty Deals, bringing the hottest tech deals on the internet. Happy Thursday, everyone. Hope you guys having a good week and I hope you're ready for a good wind down to the rest of your week because we've got some cool deals for you today. Starting off we have this Cooler Master Master Liquid ML240L V2. This ARGB CPU liquid cooler is available in white for only $54.99 making it $45 off. And then something I will recommend till the end of time is grabbing yourself a little USB-C portable monitor. Like here we have this Rehisk 15.6 inch 1080p USB-C external monitor for only $59.99 making it $130 off. Use this for your Discord chat your spotify if you're a streamer you can put your text chat up there without taking up a lot of desk real estate i 10 out of 10 and also 10 out of 10 is the fractal design pop air mid tower atx case you can currently pick up the black version for only 59 dollars and 99 cents making it 30 dollars off i have the white mini version here it always used to stick out in frame it bugged me quite a bit but hey you thought you were done we have bonus round of deals today. Because next up, we have the SteelSeries Arctis Nova 7 wireless gaming headset, specifically the Phase Clan Limited Edition, for only $94.99, making it $95 or 50% off. And hey, if you don't care about Phase Clan, you still get a black and red version for a lot cheaper than the rest. I see this as an absolute win. And then lastly, we have something else that's audio related, the Logitech G Yeti Studio. This active dynamic XLR broadcast microphone is very similar to the Shure SM7P, except it comes with something similar to a built-in cloud lifter that gets you a lot of extra gain. I personally think this is one of the best looking broadcast microphones and I, I want one. I want one so bad. But then I'd have to change my whole setup. I'd have to get a white mic arm and everything just to complete the look. But you can grab one currently for $245.13, making it $104.86 off and the cheapest I've ever seen it. But hey, them's the deals. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below. But until next time, I'm gonna hand you off back to Brett for the rest of your hot news. Cheers. Well, Reese, it turns out game developers can get a great deal in that they can use AI to not even worry about a game engine. Google has shown off their game 
Gen Gen, which stands for generation because it's being generated by AI that was able to run Doom without having an underlying game engine. It's just hallucinating the entire thing. And in order to do this, the original Doom game had to be made decades ago, and then they had to play it and teach the AI on it. And they say that in a 1.5 second clip, it's indistinguishable from the original game. And now they're talking about how this could be great. You don't even need to build game engines anymore. The AI can just do it all for you. Of course, you gotta wonder how would they have done this if there weren't game engines that actually created the games in the first place that they could train this data on. And what if they want the game to operate in a specific way, not as the AI decided, but as they decide because they have an artistic and creative vision of how they wanna limit the players in a way that allows them to experience the world as they craft it. And then the AI just decides, nope, I'm just gonna put an extra barrel here. And when you shoot it, it's gonna disappear. As you watch it for a little longer, this uh, AI generated Doom definitely gets a little wonky, but it does have cohesion. It does have temporal tenacity to it. It does run at 20 frames per second, but again, it requires the original Doom game to have been invented. And that is a lot of what these large language models, these generative AI things do. They can resynthesize things that already exist, but they can't make it themselves. We'll see if it develops. I'm more of an AI. Uh, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it person rather than an AI optimist. But let me know what you think of AI generated doom down below in the comments while I let you know that I'm very excited for any Halo product that's going to be coming out, whether it's Team Red or Team Blue. Strix Halo supposed to have RTX 4070 class GPU in an integrated format on the APU. And now reports are coming out that Intel's Arrow Lake Halo is going to be making its debut sometime soon, where it's going to have the new P cores and E cores that you expect out of Arrow Lake, but with an enlarged GPU you to make it an enthusiast mobile workstation so that you can actually have a large graphics card baked in. Theoretically, it's going to be a 14 core design, 6P cores, 8E cores. It's not fully known how Arrow Lake Halo is actually going to play out, especially what class of GPU it's going to be compared to. But this was something that was actually rumored by Adored TV all the way back in 2021. And now it's being resurfaced by other leakers now as well that Intel is getting ready to prepare this for some sort of launch, which just gets me all excited. More integrated GPUs that are absolutely dominant and capable. I'd love to see this. Getting to see what Intel had to show off with Battle Mage graphics in Lunar Lake. I'm excited for that. Seeing it come out to Air Lake to get a potentially beefier GPU in a mobile form factor. I just, I eat it all up. I appreciate it. And let's see if I eat up your comments from yesterday. Over on Floatplane, we got Northern Llama saying, sounds like Reese might need some deals on a generator or battery backup unit. At least he has an alibi. I was doing hot news. I, we have he does we had a sponsorship with ecoflow he has some sort of battery backup but those are for essentials not necessarily uh making sure that he's he's doing work he needs to eat and run his refrigerator and like have the power to do life things not work things and you know when when a transformer explodes at a substation it's a completely different situation and YouTube's a different situation well, let's see what you had to say over there especially with the ad spot yesterday we got infinite dragon sunlock saying 500 bucks for a dual monitor arm yeah no thanks I don't know where you got the $500 price point for um it's nowhere near that, especially if you use our coupon code. It's like not even half that, even if you don't use our coupon code. Um, the HNDS7 from Wanwo is is not what, I don't know where, how, the monitor could be 500 bucks. That could be totally fine. You could put a very expensive monitor on it. That'd be great. Then we got Jackie Lind and Z Shrink saying, if you've been tweaking at home, you guys really caught on to me saying that. I, uh, I don't even remember that I, I phrased it like that, but there you go. I, I'm sorry for calling out your uh, your tweaking and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tweak out of this episode of Hot News. I'll see you back here for more of the hottest tech news tomorrow.